we have the space jump. Look Hi at guys. that shit. I'm, fuck, I'm fucking. I'm tripping on acid. I'm throwing up. Okay. <laughs> the, the, and so the animation though, it, it's pre it is pretty awesome though. Like, um, so let's talk about the sequelitis thing a little more, right? Let's do it. But first, I think so. Where we are now? Yeah. We're episode. We're in episode nine, right? Oh yeah. I have to get. Uh, I have to get the plasma beam. Yep. I have to get the screw attack. Uh huh. What am I missing in miscellaneous over there? Uh, oh, I don't need to get the spring ball. That's fine. Um, so we need two more major items. We need to beat Ridley, and we need to beat the Mother Brain. I'm thinking... Oh, I still wall jumped. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking we're going to do this in no more than 13 episodes. No more than 13? No more. I think you can do that, yeah. I mean, if we get I think that's a, a realistic thing per episode... Fucker, get off me. <laughs> Stop! It's messing up my space jump. It's also weird because... I'm so used to the space jump being always combined with the screw attack, pretty much. Yeah, so like... Well, never mind. Being able to do the spinny thing. The space jump in Metroid Prime is just the water. Well, that's where I wanted to talk, to talk about, like, the <laughs> sequelitis thing. Or yeah. The sequel thing, because, like, I can't use the name sequelitis, obviously, because that's Aaron's thing. Yeah. But, like, I wanted to make, like, a sequel and talk about it, because, like, the, you're very limited to what you can use the space jump in in Metroid Prime 3, right? Yeah. Like wait, Metroid Prime three specifically? Well, two or three doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't really, I don't know. It's more like sequenced events, like scripted. Like you know, you can only use it in these certain spots. Yeah, like, and it's only and, like, used and, to get a couple upgrades, really. And like, and there's a big argument for like how games are created in in two D and how your environment is uh into it uh, like. What's is there an adverb for this? Like intuitionally, I don't know what the. Uh huh. I think I got what you're saying. Yeah, but like, um, like how it's attuned to how you think uh -huh. versus like 3D. Like you're forced to only do it in certain aspects. So like right now, I'm constantly, constantly using the space jump. Right. Oh, that was the door right there. Okay. Uh, I just gotta pace myself. Okay. Ah, oh, and I missed it anyway. Son of a bitch. And um, so you know, versus like in Aaron's uh. Zelda sequelitis. Yeah. He talks about like the iron knuckle where you're you have to focus on your surroundings and the enemy, which is more like a link to the past. Just like this with the space jump, you're forced to be aware of your surroundings because if you start falling too fast, you can't jump anymore because gravity is pulling you too hard. Yeah. So like you have to be constantly aware of if you get too much momentum, you can't do anything. Yes. And I, with the with the gravity jump, you can't and just like with the grappling hook, like the grappling hook does so much more in Super Metroid than it does in Metroid Prime because yeah. you're only using it to actually get from place to place, which really would also become helps. would also seem almost irrelevant after a certain point because you could just fucking space jump over there. Because like you didn't have the space jump in Metroid Prime One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, oh, there's a I mean, the grappling hook in that one really only helps make it more convenient. Well, in like, most cases. Well, like in this one, you can actually use it as a weapon. You can use it to grab items. You can use it to go places. Yes. And like now, it's pretty much irrelevant right. because of the space jump. Uh huh. Yeah. But you know, like. I mean, you can still use it kind like of right as a here, weapon. for example. Like I can, I can literally do this and grab the items, or I could have just used the plasma beam, and just shot right through all of them with like two bullets. Yeah. But then I wouldn't have picked them up at the same time because like you're doing a two for one in that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, there are some cases and like, still useful. I guess looking at Metroid Prime, I feel like there was a lot of elements lost in the Prime series that what made a Metroid a Metroid staple. Yeah. But yeah, because of the, the switch from 2D to 3D, there's only so much they could do to make it still, well, that, and like, still they feel like a Metroid. They tried incorporating like the the secrets with like Bendesium and, yeah. and and like that, but like it always just kind of felt forced because like you know there was always that aspect of well gee I wonder what's behind the big fucking rock pile yeah like the one that is excellently placed I will give Ma Metroid Prime major props for is the one is uh, finding that Chozo artifact where it's behind a rock wall that you is not out of the or like you wouldn't notice it yeah, yeah, unless yeah. you put on your thermal visor <laughs> to see the plasma beam door behind it that is covered by a wall that can only be blown up with a power bomb yeah. and that feels more like an original metroid feature rather than you know just trying like just fucking having it in your way so you have like to when use we it. when we had to go through the stupid ass uh uh, the the what is it the tunnel 
that yeah. that we knew we had to have a power bomb for. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, we couldn't do anything about it yet. And I was like, well, this is really still. Oh fuck, went the wrong way. Yeah, because in this, you don't usually get to a place where you're like, oh well, I just don't have the upgrade for this. I mean, there are some of those cases, but that's usually the small cases. Like and, you, well, there's I think like that's a part of the nature progression. of progression. Yeah, I think that's part of the nature of the beast with this as well. And like, and I exploited. What was it, episode two? Yeah. I, don't know. Ex I exploited one of the features of this game by being able to speedball early. Speedball sounds like I'm doing drugs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Speedball. Uh, Ridley. Ooh. And like, you know, I I did that through. Did I get that energy tank? I had to have. Yeah, I did. You, okay. There's only one left. No, there's not. There's there's seven more. Oh, there are. Yeah, there's two full rows. Oh. <laughs> Mister, I've 100 percent of the game. <laughs> I didn't say I did it recently. <laughs> <laughs> and like, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely agree. But I also, but it's also still one of their good, like, in the grand scheme of games, it's mm -hmm. still a good game compared to a lot of other games I've played. Right. Which is funny because, like, this is a fantastic game and has great aspects. This is probably the strongest installment of any Metroid game they have made, period. This is the one that, like, is timeless and will go down. As like it's kind of like comparing Melee and <laughs> Smash Four. They're both excellent games in the installment series. Oh yeah, and like I, we, we we don't talk about Brawl, um, <laughs> but oh oh oh, but um, nevertheless, like oh shit, did I go wrong? Melee was the one that well, this is like it. it's right. Melee is the one that made the series so good. Yes, because everyone played that one. Yeah, like a lot of people played the one on N sixty four. But I feel but like it, not as many people played it, and it wasn't as well developed overall. Like there were so many good aspects mm -hmm. to that game, and like the competitive tier list on like not like you know saying Fox is a double S tier or things like that, but yeah. like the level of intensity that you can get to, like when you're like a god player like Mewtwo King or Leffen or Mango <laughs> or any of those guys, yeah. Versus like you and I are just casual players, like because. I think we're way more competitive on Smash 4. Yeah. But with, like, um, the Melee, like, it's so, it feels so slow-paced compared to it. But when yeah, you watch, like, the other guys, they're just, like, ripping through the game. You're like, yeah, how they, are you they, fucking they, they doing all, that? Like, the, the, the they know, slide technique, whatever that thing's wave called. Wave dashing. Wave dashing. They know all these They know wave dashing. They know so shine like, canceling. It's uh, like, crazy. Yeah, and I can do, like, I can do shine canceling with Fox. And, <laughs> and um... It's it's really 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 fucking hard because the window is so small. Yeah, it's like pixel perfect. It, yeah, it really is. It's it's frame perfect, and it's uh, oh shit. Do I go left or right first? I think I, I think I go position. right first. But yeah, there's some there's some good aspects to that game. One of the best, and like uh, oh just god, so good. So no, 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 no. Fuck. good. Are you fucking not, please. It, it's so good. It doesn't need a story or anything. It doesn't need the mo the first player. Well, action. I get like I like the subspace emissary in uh in in brawl. Oh like, yeah, I thought I, that was a really cool that. concept. Yeah. And I hate the whole like story mode in uh <laughs> in Smash Four. I the think that's non-existent. Non yeah, I, I think story. that's so stupid. Like, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of depth. Whoa, those guys need to chill. In in Smash in or in the subspace emissary, but at least you got the point. Like there's a bad guy, and you're yeah, trying to save a, everybody. It was and, a kind of fun story. Yeah, and oh, I did go the wrong way. Son of a bitch! I knew I do this every time, <laughs> and I never remember to always go the other way. I don't know why I always think that. Cause you remember there was something. Oh, I messed oh, up. Darn. There was something important, but you don't remember what it is. There we go. Through we go, and blam! Damn. Damn it, I was hoping I'd fucking hit him. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, do I gotta go down, don't I? I don't remember. Maybe. I don't remember. You're the expert here, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, and then I go... Da -da 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 uh, oh, no. I don't remember. I gotta... Oh, no. no, screw attacks to the left. Yeah, because I go through that room with the screw attack. Because you gotta fall down here. <laughs> and... Oh, son of a bitch. What am I doing wrong? You did have to go the other way, I guess. No, because that room you go through with the screw attack as, um... No, I meant, yeah. Yeah, left that when we came down the elevator, yeah. That didn't even what? do a damn thing. What? Are you serious? Oh, we'll fix that problem. What a bunch quick. of BS, bruh. 
Oh, oh, oh you're fucking serious. I was going to say, that's... Huh? Oh, my God. I thought I was going to get hurt on that one. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, uh, what are some other aspects of this game that, like... I don't know, like, they didn't... In Ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying. Um, they didn't inc incorporate, like... I mean, they had the x-ray visor. In yeah, that's that's an interesting aspect to the, the 3D ones. The fact that you have different visors. Yeah. It was kind of cool, but at the same time, half of them weren't really used until, like, the last boss fight. Well, like, yeah, and I mean, like, when you got in the phase on mines, then all of a sudden, like, the thermal visor became extremely important. Just and because, it's like, whoa. Like, I feel I like. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and I feel like it would have been really awesome to have uh, a, a battle, like, or a puzzle in the prime, the first prime, where you had to simultaneously. Oh God, this place Look, does so it's much. It's night. <laughs> in his in his beta stage, that'd be so funny. If that's where like they pulled the idea from. Yeah, wouldn't exactly okay, surprise me. Um, it's can I? I can't blow those up. It's so hard to do this though. It never fucking jumps the second time. I don't, I don't, oh, he's gonna fall down. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey Revisiting, revisiting old old friends, eh? Uh, yes. What were you saying about a puzzle? <laughs> Where we it would incorporate all four of the visors. Oh, or, that would be Or three of the visors. The no. only thing that incorporated all of them was the final boss fight. <laughs> yeah, all four of the visors. So you'd have the regular, the scan, the thermal, and the x-ray. Why are you not fucking charging? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm so glad I have my... Uh, Energy tanks? Yeah, my reserve tanks. Oh, yeah. You'd be screwed. There we go. That's what I needed. It's too bad you don't have the screw attack. Oh, ho, 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 ho. can you just? <laughs> what? Bro, chill. What? Did you shoot a super missile? No, I shot a charged up beam. Whoa, what were those things? That looked like the stuff from Metroid Fusion almost. <laughs> Similarly, yeah. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, help. Now. Oh, look at all that. Yeah, mm, that's... It didn't even feel like a couple tanks. Nope. Uh, 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 oh, what? Down, 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 down. Come. Yeah. Damn it, Samus. Thank you. See, this controller is tired too, though. Is this the one with the colored? Oh, yeah, it is. Damn. Oh boy. It's it's hard to find like super quality <laughs> controllers in general anymore. Yeah. But uh, they just don't make them like they used to. No. I think the um, I don't know. It it almost like got a little more Zelda esque. What did? When Metroid shifted to 3D, in the sense that like. You're more about the room than you are about the adventure and, like, growing yeah. as a person. Like, because kind of like with, Metro, with Mega Man X, you are very much growing. I think this is a save point right here. Probably. It might be a good place to do that. It isn't. Oh, that's. Uh, I'll take that, too. That could still stop here. All right. <laughs> well, we'll talk about this more in the next episode, guys. Bye, next. bye, 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 bye. Next time. I have a sub in the fridge and call my name. <laughs>